Hi everyone! Recently, my lab has had a lot of discussion over whether or not an OTD is sufficient to get someone into teaching and research or whether or not um, you really need to go ahead and get a PhD so that you can um, work in those two areas. So I thought I'd share sort of what I've been learning and what the discussion has kind of brought up. So from what I understand, the OTD um, can give you some access to teaching within different schools. So whether that be as an assistant professor or um, I know that I've talked to someone who was the, a teacher for CODAs, um, you definitely can get some exposure to teaching. However, if you're going to try and work at like a research institution, you might need to go ahead and get the PhD um, because they might be more research focused and really want their professors to be doing research and they'll want you to possibly be a PI. So from what my understanding is as far as the two degrees, if you really want to be a more of a research professor um, or be at an institution that's very research heavy, it might be preferable to get a PhD versus an OTD as far as going into teaching is concerned. However, I looked at a lot of faculty lists before I chose to do the OTD and I can tell you there are a lot of OTDs teaching out there. So whether or not they're, whether they're at a research institution or they're just being just teaching at more of a clinical school might be the difference between what, why there's so many OTDs at some schools versus PhDs at other schools, but I know for sure that I have seen OTDs teaching. So OTD does not eliminate you from teaching. However, PhD might be preferable for teaching at certain institutions that are more research heavy. So that's what I understand as far as teaching. Now as far as research goes, our institution always says that if you want to do research, you can do it with an OTD. However, you're likely not going to be the PI. Um, and so that's just something to be aware of. If you're interested in really being the PI in research, then is when I think you really should be looking at um, getting the PhD. However, from my understanding, it's not, there are a lot of different parts of research that don't involve just being the PI. So <laughs> my pets are going crazy right now. I don't know if you can hear them. There are a lot of different areas within research aside from just being a PI. If you want to be the PI, for sure, maybe you should go ahead and look into a PhD. However, if you're interested, so for one thing that I'm considering, maybe doing in the future if I can, is a lot of studies might need um, a therapist to go in and actually um, do the intervention with the participants. So that's something I would love to do. And then from what I understand, that's something that I could totally do with my OTD. So, with an OTD, you definitely can be involved in research. However, I don't think you can be the PI in research. Um, so that's kind of what our lab has talked about and what my current understanding is of the difference between PhD versus OTD and what you can do when it comes to research and teaching. Um, if anyone has any other insight that they're aware of, please go ahead and share it with everyone in the comments um, just so that we all are a little bit more informed about the decision. Um, and that's all. I hope you're having a great day. Bye.